My Govanen, welcome to the Tolkien Lore Channel, I'm the Tolkien Geek, and in this Thursday Thoughts video, I'm going to propose one further theory when it comes to a wizard and his staff, and in this particular video I want to focus on something that I didn't really touch on that much in my previous two videos, and that is Saruman's comment to Gandalf at Orthanc about the Rods of the Five Wizards. When Gandalf specifically tells Saruman, we'll let you out if you give us the keys of Orthanc and your staff as pledges of your good conduct to be returned later, Saruman goes a little unhinged, and he says, later, you know, I suppose that's when you have the keys of Baradur, the rods of the five wizards, the crowns of seven kings, and you've purchased a pair of boots much larger than the ones you already have. I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but... The interesting thing about that comment is, why would he be saying when he has the rods of five wizards? I don't think it's because he thinks that Gandalf is just collecting, you know, wizard staffs just for the fun of it. Uh, <laughs> although it's possible that it could be interpreted that way. Considering the other items in that list, the keys of Baradur, the crowns of seven kings... It seems like Saruman is projecting onto Gandalf here. And when I say projecting, I mean specifically he's projecting his own desire for power over others to Gandalf. Gandalf, of course, is not interested in anything like that, but Saruman very much is. And he, as Gandalf points out, Saruman does not understand Gandalf at all. Saruman, much like Sauron, thinks everybody else is thinking the exact same way he is, and that means he's they're all grasping for power and all this other stuff. So, <clears throat> the interesting thing about that is, if Gandalf is interested in power, and that means he would want the Rods of the Five Wizards, or really what that means is Saruman would like to have the Rods of the Five Wizards, the question is, why would that be important in a quest for power? And this makes me wonder if perhaps the actual power of the wizard is, in some way, contained in the staff itself. Because otherwise, why would it matter if you had the Rods of the Five Wizards? The only other possible interpretation of this that I can think of that would kind of make sense of that as a means of gaining power is that, if my previous theory is true, that the staff is necessary in some way for the wizard to exercise his own inherent power over the physical world, then depriving a wizard of his staff at least renders that wizard relatively powerless and therefore not a serious rival, not very dangerous. And so you could say that Saruman would be interested in having everybody else's staff for the purpose of, you know, just preventing them from potentially being a rival to him and thus he thinks Gandalf might be thinking in the same way. The problem this poses, of course, is that why then did not Saruman take Gandalf's staff when he had him imprisoned in Orthanc? And why does he think that Gandalf would have any more luck doing something like that in the current situation at the Tower of Orthanc when they're speaking? And that's a really interesting question that I'm not sure I can answer which is why it is possible that Saruman is really thinking in terms of he's just trying to, you know, defeat all the wizards and take their staffs just kind of as trophies. So these are all kind of semi-plausible theories, but I kind of like the idea that if Gandalf could obtain every other staff from every other wizard, he kind of get some of their power. How then do we explain Saruman not taking Gandalf's staff? One way you could explain it is by saying, well, he didn't have the power to actually forcibly take it from him. Seems a little weird, considering he definitely has the power to keep Gandalf captive, and there seems to be no reason why he wouldn't be able to do something, you know, more than that. The other one is, 
he's still trying to convince Gandalf to go along with his plan. And by convince, I mean either through persuasion or through enhanced persuasion, let's say. Uh, and, and therefore, he doesn't really want to completely you know, rid Gandalf of his ability to use power because he wants to use Gandalf for his own ends, and that requires Gandalf being able to use, you know, his own power. Neither of those totally satisfy me, so I admit that this theory begs a lot of questions that can't really be answered but the idea that you could that you would want to obtain the staff of every single wizard seems to suggest something beyond merely you know just a a desire to just have them for the sake of having them because he puts it in the context of also collecting crowns of seven kings like well that's clearly a reference to obtaining political power in the world. The keys of Barad-dûr are a thing that you would have if you had power in the world, right? It means you overthrew Sauron and you took over his position. So the rods to fit into that list, it has to mean something kind of like that, I think. Now, obviously, he ends with the whole idea of big boots, which is clearly a joke, but that is the only one that seems to be clearly a joke is kind of the wrong word, but you get my meaning. And so the rods of the five wizards seems to be something that you would obtain at least as a symbol of your power over everybody else, if not an actual possession of that power. So maybe what Saruman is saying here is that, you know, if you could find a way to dominate every single other wizard as Saruman at this point has also been dominated by the Ents and therefore is basically powerless to do anything about it. In that circumstance, he would have the rods as kind of like a symbol of, oh, hey, look what I did, kind of like the crowns of seven kings would be, but it's still at least a manifestation or an outward sign of, hey, look at me, I am this awesome. So, you know, my theory about the rods actually containing the power of the wizards is probably off base, but it's an interesting theory to think about because it is at least kind of suggested by Saruman's words. And I just kind of like the idea that Saruman thinks this is even possible. It also, just as a side note, implies that Saruman thinks that maybe the blue wizards are still out there doing their thing with a staff in hand, and that they could be found and defeated and their staves taken from them, which is another, you know, subject entirely, because we know nothing about the five wizards at this point other than Saruman just spilled those beans. So I just kind of wanted to put that out there as, you know, just an interesting point that what Saruman says as kind of an offhand comment has real implications about something in the world, even if it's not that Gandalf could obtain the power of these other wizards, at a minimum he is at least suggesting that in obtaining them he will have demonstrated that he has power over all these other people. But I still think it's kind of cool to think of it in terms of if he gets the rod he has that wizard's power, at least in the sense of it robs that wizard of his own power to do whatever he could do with his staff, and therefore he is weaker as a result, and therefore Gandalf has kind of shown that he is bigger, stronger, whatever. So, anyway, not a very serious theory, but I thought it was fun to present anyway, since I've already done two videos recently on this topic, so that's my Thursday thoughts for this week. Until the next one, I am the Tolkien Geek, signing out for the Tolkien Lore Channel. Namadier.